George Q. Cannon was born in Liverpool, England in 1827, according to the church's website. He was baptized in 1840 and came to America when he was 10, the website says. When he was only 16 years old, he worked at a print shop in Nauvoo, Illinois. Cannon was left an orphan at only 17 years old. The church's website says he traveled to Salt Lake City and worked in the California gold fields. When he was 23, he was called to serve as a missionary in Hawaii, where he served for four years as, quote, one of the first Latter-day Saint missionaries to the islands, end quote. While Cannon was serving in Hawaii, he started translating the Book of Mormon into Hawaiian. The church's website says Cannon developed a love for the Book of Mormon as he endured affliction on his mission, such as loneliness and homesickness. Cannon wrote in his journal during that time of trial, quote, It was then that I found the value of the Book of Mormon. It was a book which I had always loved, but I learned there to appreciate it as I had never done before. If I felt inclined to be lonely, to be low-spirited or homesick, I had only to turn to its sacred pages to receive consolation, new strength, and a rich outpouring of the Spirit." End quote. According to the church's website, Cannon's love for the Book of Mormon, combined with his love for the Hawaiian people, led him to want to translate the Book of Mormon into the Hawaiian language. The church's website said Cannon completed the translation only two and a half years after he began on July 22, 1853. But Cannon did not complete the work alone. The church's website says Jonathan Napella offered Cannon hospitality such as food and shelter while Cannon was serving in Hawaii. Napella chose to be baptized on January 5, 1852 and later became one of the first Hawaiian saints to receive temple ordinances. The church's website says Napella helped Canon learn Hawaiian and also helped him translate the Book of Mormon into the Hawaiian language. This translation was the first one that was in a non-European language. Soon after Canon returned home from his mission, Brigham Young asked him to go to California to publish the newly translated Hawaiian language Book of Mormon. Of his translation, Cannon said, quote, My happiness was beyond description, end quote. He also said he felt the spirit of the Lord and spoke very fondly of his mission in Hawaii. Cannon later served in the First Presidency of the Church.